Estimating missing data is one problem that hardologists need to address. A second problem occurs when the catch and reengages is inconsistent over a period of time. An adjustment of the measured data is necessary to provide a consistent record. Here are a few examples why measured data is not consistent. The rim gauges have been installed at different sites in the past. The rainfall depth is being recorded continuously between the previous and the current sites, so the entire data is not homogeneous. Or the change of exposure conditions of the gauge due to growth of trees or the construction of tall buildings in the proximity of the gauge site, or change in the instrument or the rain gauge may have been faulty for part of the period of record. Double mass curve analysis is a technique commonly employed to detect changes in data collection procedures or conditions at a given location. The changes may result from changes in instrumentation, changes in observation procedures, or changes in gauge location or surrounding conditions. A double mass curve is a plot of the accumulation of the observed element over time for one location or test station versus the accumulation of the observed element over time for a reference location or base station. So the mass curve is approximately a straight line if the variations at both test and base stations are quite consistent. Any breakpoint in the curve suggests a possible change at the test station in relation to the base station. If a change in slope is evident, then the record needs to be adjusted with either the early or later period of record adjusted. There are few steps need to be taken to form the double mass curve and to compute the slopes. So let's say we have measured annual precipitation from year 1926 to 1942. An annual rainfall at station A is the test station, or annual rainfall at stations B, C, D, and E as the base stations. So first, add the annual precipitation of base stations. So here we have 39.8 plus 45.7 plus 30.7 plus 37.4, we get 153.6 or 154. Then cumulate the sums of step 1, 154 plus 150, get 304, 304 plus 172.7, we get 476, and we have to do the rest of the calculations and fill in this column. Similar to the base station, we have to cumulate the annual precipitation for test station here. Plot graph accumulated annual precipitation station A versus accumulated precipitation of base stations and compute the slope MO and MA. MO is the original slope while MA is the adjusted slope. So lastly, adjust the measured precipitation of gauge A using the general equation PA equals to PO multiply with the MA over MO. PA is the adjusted precipitation value at station A and PO is the original precipitation value at station A. You can try to solve example 2.5 using double mass curve analysis. The measured annual precipitation gauge for five stations A, B, C, D and E from 1926 until 1942 are given below. After five years, gauge A was relocated at a new location due to changes in land use that make it impractical to maintain the gauge at the old location. You are required to adjust the record for the period from 1926 to 1930 using the records at gauges B, C, D and E.